Hi and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I'm Steve and in this video we're going to learn how to update Photoshop. So you can access all of the latest features and tools on Photoshop. And this applies if you have Photoshop CC, which is the Creative Cloud version. So when you're in Photoshop and you want to go update it, you go up here to the Help menu, click on that, and right down here you'll see Updates. You can click on that and that's going to bring you to the Creative Cloud desktop. And what you want to do is be in the Apps tab here, and then you can go and click under Updates here, and then this will show you what you can update. If you haven't updated it in a while, it'll usually have a little blue number here. It'll say like 2 or 8, and that shows you how many updates you have available. And then I believe it gives you a little button here that says Update. Mine, I just updated. You can see it says updated seven days ago, so I don't have that option because there's nothing to update. Now a couple of little tips and tricks with this. One is that sometimes you will lose some of your settings when you update things. Like for instance, I had a setting over here called Steve's Workspace, and when I updated it, that went away. And the reason that that happened to me was because when I went to update it gave me this screen here and I clicked on remove old versions and I unclicked on import previous settings and preferences. So you want it to look like this if you're going to be updating Photoshop and you want to save those previous settings. But going back to our Creative Cloud desktop that's where you're going to find it and you just update it and then you'll also want to restart your computer after. You'll want to close down Photoshop, close everything down, and restart your computer so that it updates everything. And then a couple of other things. You can click here, and it's going to go into your information about your version of Photoshop. And so what's helpful is you can go look over here. It shows your compatibility, if it works on this computer, it shows your version which is nice because sometimes if you have an older computer, the most current version won't work. So this is just helpful. One final thing to be aware of is that you want to close out of Photoshop and restart your computer to get the updates to take effect. And one thing you might notice is that you will it will then update you into the new opening screen for Photoshop, which sometimes people don't like. And if you don't like it, you can actually go Control or Command and the letter K and it's going to bring up your preferences and you can go to right here where it says auto show the home screen and you can see I have this clicked off. If I leave that clicked on, which like I say when it updates sometimes it'll turn that on, then it goes into that weird opening screen where it shows little icons of all your recent images and it's just basically to me an extra step. Some people really like it, so if you like it, great. But um, if, like I say, when you update your Photoshop, it's acting weird and going to the wrong screen, you can go in, hit Control or Command K, go in and reset your preferences and click that off. And you might need to restart it again, but that is how you kind of get around that issue if it comes up. But that's all there is to it, really. Like I say, you go to Help and Updates, and that's going to take you to your Creative Cloud desktop where you can update your Photoshop so you can use all the latest features and tools. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, quick, click Like, subscribe to the channel, and check out my courses in the description below. I've included some links and discounts for you. And I will see you in the next video.